All right. Lauren gets up to the chest. Easy presser. And we got Chris Ortero hitting that split jerk. He's an athlete I've been working with on his nutrition for this prep. Yup. Go and catch. Chris Ortero. Going for that second log. Take a breath. You got time. He's sitting there long in that lap. Oh, and he couldn't stabilize it above head. And Chris just barely missed. Come on, Chris. Come on, five more seconds to get to work. And these guys got time. Ronnie just barely missed that a second ago. Chris got it to his shot. All right, Lauren's got it back up. All three athletes are able to clean this weight. They just couldn't get that last bit of the press. Chris has got to move here. He's got to get the big hips in there. Oh. It's hard to split jerk a log. I don't know how people do it. Chris Otero is up right now. Chris Otero. He was talking to me before the show with this one. This weight he has hit for multiple. This used to be his max when this prep started. Now it is his open. So what a great development. Let's see him hit this weight. And that looks like a beautiful open for him. So that max, that matches his previous match. This is the big point. We see a few people, not, athletes, not be able to complete the 705 pounds. These are good points for Christopher. Alex Hill, the first athlete to attempt 775 pounds for our open heavyweight men. Oh, and Chris should have maybe skipped this one. That was moving like a warm-up. The 725 moved like a breeze. I do not expect it to be too much slower than the 745. So I think he's going to do great on that 745. CJ Allen looks like he's set up ready to go for that 775 pounds on that bar. And here we go. CJ Allen, smooth as can be. Chris Otero still warming up. I think that man could have hit it close to 800 today. Really putting the pressure on the other athletes, Chris. Chris Otero coming hot out the gate right now. If he can keep that pace, if he can keep that steady. Oh, that's what I mean. It starts to sway and swing. It's that weird setup. So he's got to get his feet under him, work through, and then Jack is fighting for every single step. Oh, the last little bit. But he was quick. It's going to be close with him and Damon. And Jack, again, every step matters. He's trying to get as much as he possible. Not, I'm oh, sorry. Wait, a point nine seconds apart. Less than a second separated them on the yoke. And I know these both want to move. They're very fast. They're very athletic. And Chris is off like a firecracker on that one. Now the biggest thing in this drop and turns, what's gonna matter the most on this one. Good, that's what I mean, that slide is really tough. Those weights are smoothing, but barely an inconvenience, but I said a big deadlifter we saw with Chris. Damon with a great time as well. I think he still might beat Jack's time, but that's definitely a win by Chris Otero. And he is feeling that one. And always, you know, you can see he's got an old shirt on with a lot of tacky on it. So this may mean that he's good at stones. Oh, and he gets that up fast. He laps it, but it flies right up. Uh, he's stumbling a little bit. He's, he's getting a little nervous. He's in his head. He knows he's got to go fast, and he is moving. He's got he's to stop getting the, making the small mistakes, and he's moving up there. Honestly, he's smooth and concise. He started a little slow. He's going. I think he's got a faster pace. He is fumbling over this a little bit, this 350, but he has no problem lifting it. This 400, he just needs to hop on and he needs to go. Come on, Chris, lapping it up. And he's there, he got it, he got it. That might be the win. He might be a new pro in the 105K division. Third place here today, we have Damon Curtis. Damon Curtis finishing off after that tiebreaker. Unable to hold on there. But one of the nicest humans out there. Worked very hard today. I'm so proud to be able to watch the performance today. He dug deep for that. Just couldn't hold on in there at the end of the second place. Jack Turner taking second place on this one. I know he came in for the win, but it ended up shaking out a little bit different. Only one point separated all these athletes here today. 
and with our 105 champion Christopher Ortero from New Mexico coming up there. I had the pleasure of helping this athlete on his prep and it looks like we prepped great on this one. So it's lovely to see him on top of that podium with that win and a 105 kick pro card to be heading his way for the show. So we will see Chris Otero a lot this year. He is invited to America's Strongest Man, and he is invited to be a professional for the strongman. And that's what the goal, the pinnacle of this is to be called a pro, and he has earned that today by this performance. So great job there, Chris.